This wedding today is not a coincidence. It was a thought in the mind of God from the beginning of time. It was His desire to bring Chase and Emma together for marriage in Christ Jesus. With Christian marriage, while we say human words, God invades and actually unites Chase and Emma's hearts together. Their hearts, in a real sense, actually become one. Uh, when Emma first told me about Chase, I could tell from the light in her eyes and the spring in her voice that she was really, she was really excited about him. Um, and it made me excited too, because maybe this guy was the one. When I met Chase for the first time, he and Emma invited me to go to ice cream with them. And I said, okay, who is this man? Because I have been protective of Emma since I met her. And so I was skeptical and we are walking down the apartment stairs, getting into Emma's car. And I'm like, all right, you got shotgun. And he said, no, no, you, you can take shotgun. And I am stubborn and again, a people pleaser. And I sat in the back and he did the same thing. So <laughs> it's such a testament to who you are, Chase. Chase would just always sit with me at, at you know, dinner or whatever it may be around the house. And you just start talking about Emma. Just be like, man, I love Emma. Like, I love Emma so much. <laughs> he just knew she was the one. And so it wasn't really a surprise to me one day where I'm cooking dinner and Chase says, I've got something to show you. And he pulls out a ring. And I was like, let's go, let's go. <laughs> so we go back to the house and sit down at the table and I'm eating and Chase is just sitting there. Both of his legs are tapping and he's just like, and finally he goes, you guys know how much I love Emma. And I'm like, oh, I dropped my enchilada, you know. Uh, you know, I, you could tell from that uh, how much he does love her. You're making me cry. Family and friends, we are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together Chase Easter and Emma Williams in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted by God at the time of man's innocence, signifying unto us the mystical union that exists between Christ and His church. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Chase, the love of my life, my biggest supporter, and my best friend. It's going to be hard. <laughs> I've learned so much from you since I met you. You showed me the utility of the Weather Channel app on our first date. <laughs> You've gently steered me away from saying we got here just in time at every restaurant we go to. And you've shown me how to be unapologetically myself, passions and all. You've shown me what real love looks like and how I deserve to be loved. You've shown me a side of myself that I hardly knew existed before I met you. She's creative, she's witty, and she's beautiful. You've encouraged me to follow all my passions and endeavors. You've inspired me to be the best version of myself. I love you for not only what you are, but for what I am when I'm with you. Emma, I love you. It is hard for me to even fathom how lucky I am to have found someone so genuine, beautiful, smart, and funny. Every day I spend with you is a day filled with love and laughter. You have brought me a happiness that I did not know was possible before I met you. You are truly the love of my life. Starting today, I am committing to you for eternity, which you have made one of the easiest commitments I'll ever make. While I'm sure there'll be challenges along the way, I get to go through them with my best friend.
Chase since the day that I met you, I knew that you were good for Emma. Um, the way that you've treated her has showed me that you truly do love and respect her. Um, and I hope that you will treasure and respect my best friend as I have over the years. And of course, continue to love her all your life. And I'm proud to be here celebrating the marriage of these two amazing people who are not only amazing in their own right, but also the right people for each other. Somehow, they can both be so incredible and yet only make each other better. Um, they just, all they try to do in life is lift each other up and support each other. And I haven't seen a, a more beautiful example of what it means to love a person. And I'm just so lucky and so happy because this is only the beginning. Um, you guys have so much in front of you. And I just am so thankful to be able to witness it. So I love you guys so much. And uh, of course, we're always here. I can see in Emma's eyes how much she loves him. Um, I was going to say, Chase, you're like the son I never had, but I had a son. Uh, I'm so happy for you guys. I can't wait to see what happens in the future. I take you to be my wife, to share the good times and the hard times side by side. I will always laugh at your jokes and be your shoulder to cry on. I promise to always be the first to celebrate your accomplishments and your first hug after a bad day. Got to be here for you no matter what, through thick and thin, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health. I vow to support you in all your endeavors and passions, even if that means walking down the juice aisle of every convenience store. <laughs> <laughs> I vow to always be waiting to give you a squeeze on your worst days. I vow to always be faithful to you. I vow to stand by your side no matter where life takes us and no matter how old we grow. I vow to be the woman you inspire me to be and the wife that you deserve. I vow to remember that laughter is life's sweetest creation, and I will never stop laughing with you. If I know what love is, it is because of you. Chase, my soulmate, I love you unconditionally forever. Now that Chase and Emma have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together will let no one separate. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Chase, you may kiss your bride. And lastly, while I'll always struggle to capture my love for you in words, I promise that love will only continue to grow. 